the first hearing for a Colorado bill that would let firearms be removed from owners with a high risk of harming themselves or others got underway Thursday afternoon at the Capitol. If passed, the bill would allow law enforcement, a family member or a household member to petition a judge for the removal of a person's firearms via something called an extreme risk protection order. The judge would hold a hearing, without the gun owner being present, to decide whether to grant a temporary order for up to 14 days. During those two weeks, all the parties would have to appear before the judge, who would then determine whether the firearms should be kept for up to 364 days. I have to tell you that this is a strange day for me. Today would have been Zach Parrish's 31st birthday, Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock told the House Judiciary Committee during his testimony in support of the bill. Spurlock's deputy, Zachary Parrish, was shot and killed by Matthew Reel at a Highlands Ranch apartment complex in December 2017 while trying to negotiate with Reel, who was in the midst of a mental health crisis. The bill's sponsors, House Majority Leader Alec Garnett, D. Denver, and Rep. Tom Sullivan, D. Centennial, named it, after Parrish. Similar extreme risk protection order laws already exist in a dozen states, including Indiana, Washington, Florida, Connecticut and Maryland. The Colorado Association of Chiefs of Police supports the bill, which has previously been introduced but failed to pass in the GOP-controlled state Senate. Democrats took over the chamber this winter. We have the tools to deal with imminent violence as first responders but emerging violence is something that has plagued law enforcement for my entire career, said Ron Sloan, head of the Police Chiefs Association. Some law enforcement, however, spoke against the red flag bill. I know that mental health reform seems like a daunting topic, but that is the true issue here, said Weld County Sheriff Steve Reams. John Walsh, former U.S. Attorney for the District of Colorado, spoke in support of the bill Thursday. He said he didn't know whether it would have prevented the Aurora Theater shooting or the Planned Parenthood shooting in Colorado Springs, but he said he sees it as an important tool for families and law enforcement. Walsh also said his legal opinion is that the bill doesn't violate the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution or the Due Process Clause, two claims made by the bill's opponents. This is a developing story and will be updated.